Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Construction Sim 2015. Uh, whilst uh, you guys have been away, uh, sorry I haven't been uploading recently, but um, there's been a few reasons for that. Uh, mainly I've been away to a different country for a few days. Uh, and whilst we, you, you guys have been away, we're doing a little bit more work in the background. Uh, and um, that's what this skip lorry here is doing. However, as I promised you, um, in the last episode, what we're going to do, we're going to use the new crane that we bought in the last episode, and we're going to go and do one of the special jobs. And I think um, we may as well do these in order, I think. I know I mentioned about doing uh, something like the tennis court or the pool. Um, we've got the stadium lights to do, but I think we're going to, for now, we're going to go and do the power station. That sort of piqued my interest a little bit. Uh, so having a look at this, we need to go and speak to the foreman, uh, drive the low boy to the destination, drive a heavy duty crane to the destination, transport the transformer into the marked area at the harbour and talk to the foreman again. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Uh, and I need to go and speak to the foreman, but we also need to go and grab a crane I think so uh, this little mission I had running in the background I'm going to get the workers to do and I'll leave that one running uh, we need to go and talk to the foreman and I need a vehicle in order to do that so what was the next stage the low boy so I may as well go and grab the low boy truck where are you? There it is. And where's our trailer? It's right down the end there. So yeah, hopefully you guys have been alright. Uh, I apologise I haven't been uploading, certainly construction sim 2015 recently. Uh, there's been a few reasons for that. A bit of negativity from people I know around me doing this uh, uh, I kind of kept things quiet for a reason I didn't want people knowing too much that uh, I do this in my spare time but you know what I don't really care uh, they can watch it if they want and uh, every viewer helps doesn't it um, I appreciate this isn't everybody's cup of tea however I enjoy doing it Got this kind of work in my blood. And whilst it might be sad for some people, you know what? I just don't care. I enjoy doing this. It doesn't take up too much of my time. And uh, those that do know me know that I do a number of different things in my spare time when I'm not at work. So this is just one of them. If you don't like it, tough. Right, let's go and have a chat with um, the foreman, probably Pete. Okay, a guy from the power station just called me. There was a voltage peak a few days ago and one of the power transformers burned out. They tried to repair it but had no luck. However, the power transformer has to be returned to the manufacturer for repairs. Uh, we were ordered to deliver it to the harbour. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. It won't be that easy. The transformer weighs about 30 tonnes. It's definitely a job for the low loader. You'll have to take the truck crane to load it and the transformer is waiting for us at the power station. I'll mark the spot on your map. Please be careful. Although this thing is broken, it's worth a tonne of money. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Um, well, we may as well kill two birds with one stone and uh, drive the crane onto... The flatbed. So I'll crack on and do that. Uh, apologies for the noise. And then what we need to do is jump into the new mobile crane that we've got. lovely digital dash. Uh, 
uh, stick this on the low loader and then we can just take it straight to the harbour I think or the power station wherever that is uh, possibly going to be a short episode today I don't know but we'll have a look and see how long this is going to take us A little bit too far over this way. Whoa, a bit of a wheelie there. I didn't know this had a turning axle on the back of both of them are. are we on that side? Yeah, we are actually. Okay. Nope. Attached. Uh, we can put the legs. Oh. And we'll put the legs back down. Actually, I didn't really need to put them down, did I? Because we have to attach them the trailer. Um, and then we can move on to. Wherever it is we need to go. Uh, so a couple of news items for you this week. Um, a couple of things about the channel really. I, I know I've promised in the past that I would upload in uh, a more structured or regular way. That is going to happen. I've, I've sorted out a schedule. Uh, and we're going to be doing construction sim three times a week. Um, I might record in bulk. I don't know. Um, certainly when I'm not at work and uh, schedule them for release during the week or I might just record them before we release uh, I do get some time during the week to do these videos uh, however as we're coming into the nice weather I don't particularly want to be stuck indoors all day uh, and I've got a number of other things I want to do so uh, that will be happening three times a week, Construction Sim 2015 from now on. Uh, and uh, the other days from the week, what we left with four days, uh, will be a mixture of different videos. So, uh, Just Cause 3 and Fallout 4 are the other two main games that we're playing at the minute, and they'll take up the... What was that? No idea what that was. We just hit something, but uh, come on! Oh, we're gonna have to wait for the lights. Um, so yeah, those two games are gonna take up the majority of my time outside of CS 2015. Um, however, there are some other games on the horizon that I've been thinking about, and uh, we shall see. Uh, I don't really want to get the channel too mixed up, but um, that's kind of the gamer I am so I do like the sim games but more importantly uh, I like some of the mainstream games as well so um, they don't tend to work out too well on the channel as I've noticed um, you guys clearly like this game construction sim and um, city economy above the thousands or probably millions now of videos on Fallout and just cause three uh, so those kinds of games i think are after i've played just cause three and fallout four and we've got to a point where i don't really want to do it anymore in terms of videos then i don't think i'll do those again um, unless you guys tell me that that you want to see them uh, and i think what we'll probably do is just stick to the simulation type games Astrogen, the makers of this game have brought out a new one called Bus Simulator 16. Uh, I'm not really sure whether or not I'm going to go ahead and do a let's play on it. I might do. I'm kind of undecided at the moment and perhaps you guys can help me decide on that. Um, it's not really... Well, I don't know. I haven't played it yet. It's not not looking like it's going to be a great game. It's got some cool features, uh, but it's nowhere near as realistic as 
uh, OMSI 2, which I have played. I know I haven't done a Let's Play on it, but uh, it's particularly hard to get running just right, if I'm honest. And that's purely because it's not... I don't think it's been created by a, uh, a big dev team. So it's uh, fairly bug-ridden. Uh, those of you that are into it, Minecraft 1.9 was released uh, about two weeks ago, <clears throat> I think, possibly two weeks ago. Uh, and uh, although I've never played Minecraft in my life, uh, one of the guys that uh, I subscribe to online, and if you know anything about Minecraft, you'll know about this guy, but Paul Swords Jr. Uh, has piqued my interest and... Um, I decided to bite the bullet and grab a copy of Minecraft and um, I've been playing it for the last couple of days. You know what? It's actually quite a good game and I can see what the appeal is. Um, yeah, definitely. Definitely see what the appeal is. Whether or not I'm going to look at doing something with it in terms of playing it for the channel, uh, you know what? I don't know. Paul's a very good storyteller and I think that's his... Um, his genre really isn't it that's that's what he does on YouTube I'm not quite sure that I'm going to be able to do something similar I wish I could because actually those kinds of games he's playing at the moment uh, Unturned, Stardew, Minecraft etc all really good games I do enjoy them uh, I haven't got Stardew uh, but I have got Unturned and I've bought £5 gold upgrade for it so that might be coming in the future I don't know uh, anyway we are here at wow at the power plant uh, I'm going to try and squeeze through here if I can Through there just about. And actually before we do anything else what I'm going to go and do is just sort out these damn key assignments for putting the legs down or the, uh, the ramp down on the low boy. Hopefully that's going to work. Yeah, so we don't get the horn then. Yeah, that's good. Okay, they're down. Attach the crane, we'll jump in. off and um, whoa easy there we we'll need some room to get these legs out as well so what I might do is oh crap I think that might do it. Look. Probably not. Probably going to get stuck. Well, no, we're not. Okay. Yeah, we'll do.
hopefully pick this up in the first go. You know what, I'm too close, aren't I? Yeah, easily too close. Ah, oh, should never know. So I should be able to lift this up, put it straight on the trailer. Obviously we're not going to be able to put... Oh, actually are we? No, we will. We should be able to put this on the front if it fits. No, I keep starting and stopping. It's running. Need to jump out and have a look at that and see whether or not we're actually going to get that on the front. We should do actually, shouldn't we? That about's a little bit off kilter, but it might do. Too well. Come on. I don't know why it's doing that. It shouldn't be. Let's get that mouse out of the way. going to be a bit cheeky there and just see if it fell into position it kind of has it's not really resting on the bed though is it uh, it's only partially loaded oh, yeah, do you know what I don't actually think we're getting it on there are we I think that's the problem it's not designed to go on that two trips one for the crane oh, we're going to electrocute ourselves because we're messing around with the wires uh, just pop this down and then we can get the crane out of the way I think what we've got to do is take this to the harbour, which we're pretty sure we haven't been to yet. So that'll be quite interesting. Yes, it is good. Good thing is the crane is quite quick, so we can drive that drive that back to the drive that back to the. Um, where are we going? The bloody hell! The um, the harbour. 
Go on, my memory shot today. Uh, yeah, so we can drive that back to the harbour and um, offload it down there. Uh, and what I'll probably do, uh, we're going 20 odd minutes now, so I will catch up with you guys when we arrive at the harbour. So I'll catch up with you shortly. Okay guys, so welcome back. We're not too far from the harbour now, so uh, this will be the first part where we pull in with the low boy truck. That's the work has done on that other stage. Uh, we got some XP on that because I did a little bit of it. Um, the rest was down to them. For now, I've just seemed to have lost my way. Hang on. There we go, that's better. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to pull in with the low boy truck. Uh, and then we need to fly back in a taxi to grab the crane and then bring that down to the harbour so we're going to be passing the materials trader which you can see in front of us on the left it's behind that red light uh, and then we're going to be going past the home base i think as well isn't it which is just down here on the left and i can see the harbour up in front i think it's one of them sort of big portable cranes why we can't use theirs i don't know Okay, we're going right down here. Uh, left at the end. We've got a stop sign here, we need to stop that. Uh, it's coming. And looks like we're here at the harbour now. Here. And then we just need to go and find where we're going to drop this um, thingy off. Okay, here we go, in the yellow area. There's a white area as well, which obviously means that we can pick stuff up from here eventually. But for now, I think... Probably enough. And it will jump out and we'll detach. Don't need to put the legs down because we're not putting anything on. That's obviously the foreman we're going to end up speaking to. Uh, so we're going to jump in a cab. We'll go back and pick up the crane. And then we will need to turn around, I think, in order to get back. side of the road but now we're right Ooh. somehow that's happened and I don't know how that did that we've got one of the legs caught over the crash barrier anyway we're on the way so yeah what was I talking about before uh, Minecraft Never played it before, uh, apart from the last couple of days. So I'll think about it. If you guys want to see anything like that, then um, let me know. Uh, I know Minecraft isn't everyone's cup of tea, and perhaps I need to keep the channel purely simulation related, which is probably what I might do. I, d I really am torn between it because I do enjoy uh, a vast array of games. However, I don't want to dilute the content on the channel. So for now, uh, we'll probably stick with things like construction sim uh, American truck sim I have got uh, if you guys want to see some of that chuck us a comment below because to be fair I haven't actually played it yet and I've had it for about a month uh, which is actually a lie I have played it once um, it's just not as smooth as European truck sim uh, I don't really know why because it's pretty much the same game. Um, 
you haven't picked it up then American Truck Sim's a bit of a lie because I think they are going to be releasing some download packs for it eventually which will make it American Truck Sim uh, however for the moment it's pretty much California Truck Sim because there is nowhere really else to go in it um, now I'm speaking about it makes me want to go and explore the map a bit more because I haven't really done much on it so I don't know I'll probably end up binning off Fallout and um, Just Cause on the channel just to get something else on there Just Cause is a good game though a little bit samey as you go through uh, but once you start getting into the realms of buying jets and stuff like that it's, um, it's fairly addictive Used to be in this lane. Quickly beat that light. A uh, bit more city economy will be coming up as well. Um, as I said before, it's taking me a little bit of time to get through it because ugh, it's just not the game that um, that Astrogen promised. I think, uh, and it's it's just a bit tedious doing exactly the same thing time and time again. Whereas at least there's a bit of variety in this game. Um, it can get boring at times. And that's when I cut out the monotonous journeys between places. However, that being said, I've just driven over the dam, which I haven't done yet in this game. I didn't video it, uh, but that will probably feature in a video at some point in the future. We never really got anywhere with Farming Simulator 15 either, so that might make a comeback. Uh, again, there's a fair few videos of that online. Um, Whereas not everybody sticks around with this game and by far on the channel this has been the most successful uh, probably because it's the one I've done the most videos on however I've got some and you'll see the channel still in its infancy it's only been going for about nine months um, I've got some videos which are on double figures uh, most of my construction sim videos are on at least triple uh, and I've got some that are on quadruple uh, and they are the ones that are driving this game and the channel forward so a bit of a heartfelt plea from me if you do like construction sim you do like these videos then please 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 give us a subscribe uh, a thumbs up or a comment because that's the way that YouTube finds out what videos to chuck into its matrix to throw out to other people searching for things like construction sim or the mobile crane or something like that so you will be helping me out you'll be helping out other people hopefully not everybody plays this game so it can be quite hard to find fresh new content that isn't German because it is a German game um, so yeah I think you'll be helping you more than just me really you'll be helping other people so Feel free to do that if you so wish. Let's stick our legs out. See them going out in the mirror. Okay, we'll swap into the cab for the crane. Picking up the generator, swing it around and try not to knock this guy out. And I think all we need to do is just pop it down right in the middle. job done we can just go and speak to the foreman I'll put the, the crane away first We'll 
put the legs down <clears throat> we're fairly near to the home base so we can quickly drive those back afterwards uh, the legs in and I can go and have a chat with matey boy I think oh no not him he's gonna have a chat with the foreman back at our depot don't we no he is over there sorry where is he maybe that is him Yes, it is. Hello, you must be Electro Hard Hat. The guys from the power station told me about you. I'm here to pick up the cargo. I already placed the transformer over there in the loading area. What happens to this thing next? It will get shipped to the manufacturer and they'll try to repair it. But wait a second, your truck doesn't look like it's a transport company. I guess you're a construction company, correct? Yep, that's true. Our company is located right around the corner. We specialise in construction work of every type. Why do you ask? Do you need a job done? Our boss has been planning to build some new warehouses here at the harbour and the surrounding area. A construction company in the neighbourhood would be perfect. I'll give him your contact details and I'm sure he'll give you a call soon. Uh, call soon, sorry. Okay, see you later. Thanks, see you. Okay, so we're going to end up getting some work in the docks. Uh, Medium-sized business. We finished 50 projects on our own and we got 10,000 XP for that. And uh, we got 16,000 in revenue, gave us 840 XP there. Excellent. So that's us pretty much done, guys. Uh, we'll just pull up the, um, the mobile crane in this area here, I think, and jump out. We might actually do is no I won't I'll do that afterwards you guys don't need to see that but um I'll grab something for a screenshot Jesus that was loud uh, we've got new contracts available so we'll have a quick look as we always do and see what we can do next time we've got another special job warehouse and integrated office in the docks that's gonna give us 316,000 uh, we've got the rich and beautiful which is just some uh, earthing for a tennis court I think we've got the pool for the mayor 126 we've got the floodlights uh, for the stadium which we're gonna have to use a different trailer for I think because uh, I've seen that one online I've done all the tutorials we've got no architect missions uh, however what have we got we've got a modern high-rise so we're getting into the uh, realms of some tall buildings now uh, high-rise apartment we need to rotary drilling rig for so fair amount coming up i think we'll probably go and do another special mission we're going to do the floodlights on the next one just so we get to use the tower crane again but nothing active have we and how are we doing company wise Thirty-three thousand seventy-two. so current month we're a little bit under we were for the last few months but that's purely because we ended up buying the mobile crane so nothing too bad at the moment uh, we can't unlock any of the new guys just yet and there are our vehicles uh, so we're not looking too bad I think floodlights in the next mission and then we will have a look at what we're going to do after that uh, so as always guys thanks for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button give us a comment or a thumbs up and I will catch you next time when we're back playing more Construction Sim 2015. Take care. Bye for now.